Hi guys, um, Miss Munchies here and I'm in, I'm in my tent with my two nieces and we're having a sleepover again. Finally persuaded my mum. So today we're going to, I'm going to read six of my favourite books, not all of it, just like a paragraph and it's going, my nieces are going to think going to tell me what they think about the books and if they think that the books are good so first up is my totally secret diary reality tv nightmare done it so this is my first book now i'm just going to read a little paragraph of it some really good news one when I got to school, Robbie Kildare, in my class, said, Hi, Paul, are you better? I can't believe he spoke to me. He's so cool. And, two, I got to spend the evening at Kira's as Mum and Vanilla couldn't get back from the health bar until 9pm. Wednesday morning, 9am. I don't believe it. She wouldn't let me go to school again. I said my, in my sweetest voice, But, Vanilla, I'm wearing the amulet. What possible evil can get me? And she just shook her head and pointed at the stupid tarot cards. Look, Hyperlighter, that's her name. How can I tell you to go out there with the Ten Swords of Doom and the tower on the table? I would be a criminal. But isn't it, th but isn't it against the law to stop me going from school? What do I care? of man's laws. The laws of the universe are much more important. And don't worry, your time away from school won't be wasted. I have many books which will find much more informative than all nonsense they teach you at school. She waffled on and on and on in this heavy, dusty book. The Concealations, something like that. The Believer's Guide to Life's True Journey and the Spiritual mystical path by madame charlie tan and as well as a special trip i'll give you i'll let you listen to my whale song cd great what a way to spend my morning so caitlin what did you think of um that little paragraph i read um it was really really good and excited and it was fantastic how many stars out of five you can have one two three four or five Five. And you, Chelsea? Five. What? Five. You actually think it's that good? Okay, moving on to the next book. The next page, page, book, <laughs> is Star Wars from Kid, The Ugly Truth. This is one of my favourite books, so... Ugly Truth, yay! Yeah. The Dugly Truth. Ugly the Ugly Truth. The Ugly Truth. Ugly. Ready? September, Thursday. It's been almost two and a half weeks since me and my ex-best friend Rowley Jefferson had our big fight. To be honest with you, I thought he would have come crawling back to me by now, but for some reason that hasn't happened. I'm actually starting to get a little concerned because school starts back up in a few days, and if we're going to get into this, we're going to get this friendship back on track. Something needs to happen quick. If me and Rowley are really are through. That would stink because the two of us have had a pretty good thing going. This is Rally. Can I take a rest break? This is Greg. It's only like three more blocks. Now that our friendship in history, that our friendship is history, I'm in the market for a new best friend. The problem is I've invested in all my time in Rally. And I don't have anyone lined up to take his place. The two best options I have at this point is Christopher Brownfield and Tyson Sanders. But each of those guys had to have their own issues. I hang out with Christopher for the past few weeks of summer. Mostly because he's really excellent. He's a really excellent mos mosquito magnet. But Christopher is more of a summertime friend then a school friend. Tyson is nice enough and we like the same video games but he pulls his pants all the way down when he goes in the urinal. 
and I don't like it if I ever get past that. Hey there, Greg. That was that bit. So, Caitlin, what did you think of that out of five stars? Four. Four? Okay. What about you, Chelsea? Three. Three. Okay. Okay, so my next book is... Wait a minute. My next book is Diary of Kid number one. Um, yeah, and this is the first ever one. This one's a bit crumbly. That's because I've read it like three times. Um, so yeah, here we go. September, Tuesday. First of all, let me get something straight. This is a journal, not a diary. I know that it says on the cover, but when my mum went out to buy this fin, I specifically told her to get one that didn't say diary on it. Great, all I need is some is for some jerk to catch me Carrying this book around and get the wrong idea. Sissy! The other thing I want to clear up right away is that this was my mum's idea, not mine. But if she thinks I'm going to write down all my feelings in here or whatever, she's crazy. So don't just expect me to be all dear diary this and dear diary that. The only reason I agree to do this at all is because I'm figuring out when I'm... is. I figure out later when I'm rich and famous. I doubt that. I'll have better things to do than answer people's stupid questions all day long. So this book is going to come in handy. Gregory, tell us about your childhood. Were you always so smart and handsome? Here's my journal. Now, shoo shoo. Like I said, I will be famous one day. But for now, I'm stuck in middle school with a bunch of morons. It just shows me. Caitlin, what do you think of that book? Um, it was great, uh, and I'm going to give it about um, five. Five, okay. Five. Next is Geekhood. Close Encounters of Girl Kind, and this is probably one of my favourite books, but not my favourite. My favourite is probably one that will be coming up soon. Um, yeah, but, yeah. So. Hey. There are better things to wake up. One would be nudged into consciousness after a night of abandoned passion with Kirsty Ford. Another would be having my mum and dad gently call my name and tell me that they're going to be back together and that things are going to be alright. But they don't. And there's no point of even thinking about it. There are, they are countless always. They are, there, there are countless ways that are better than the, than the one that I have to go through this particular morning. First it starts with a nauseous smell that drifts up my nose, threatening my throat and make my stomach rebel against whatever I had to have for tea for last night. Then there's a the bark of then the then the bark of a voice that shatters my slumber and catapults me into the morning sunlight that is often streaming through my curtains. Basically, I'm shaking off the bad dream that I was having last night and walking straight into another one. Arch, wake up, mate. It's nearly lunchtime. It's my ste stepfather, Tony. Well, he's not technically my stepfather, as he and my mum aren't married. But it's easier than saying my mum's boyfriend. Hey, Lynn, what do you think of that? Um, it was excellent. Instead of giving it five to one... I'll only give you up to ten. Actually, no, five, five. Five. Okay, Chelsea? Five. 
Okay. Okay, so my next book isn't my favourite book yet. My favourite's next and my last book. But it's Blitz. And it's basically telling you all the stories of people that were in London, 1940 to 1945 Blitz. Also known as the Civilian War. So, I'm just going to read you a bit of it. Um... Sorry, there's, there is a bit of it that I really like. <laughs> Sorry guys, I've sort of lost it. Here it is. A few miles further, Stephen Menville Woodcock, an RIP warden, also looked anxiously eastwards from the post in Landbroke Grove. This is actually a point of view of someone that was in the London Blitz. And these are people that have survived the London Blitz and they're telling us their stories. From the roof of the lodge, we could see smoke all over the whole city and dock area. After dark, the red glow was almost an alarming sight and one that fell out that East London had gone up in flames over a huge area. I came down from the roof in a very chastened mood, wondering when our district would have similar treatment and how the fire brigade would, would tackle it if it happened before the present fires were dealt 